So here's a cool concept for a game. It's called Generation Streets and it's developed by a guy called Roman Shuvalov. The game uses open street map data to actually set out the landscape that you play it in. It's set post alien invasion and you have to fight off the aliens. But because of the open street map, it means you can select where you live. You can pick you know, your house, your work, your town, somewhere that's actually familiar to you. And the game software will actually put in the buildings and landscape and stuff that you're used to in your environment and you can fight off the alien invaders there. I'm playing the demo version and the demo version is a bit limited. It's got two areas because they're just trying to show you what the software can do. Um, they don't want to give away too much. But you can get it unlocked by buying the full version from Steam. And as usual, I'll be putting that in the description as well. All right, we're going to go down to Australia. So we got Canberra, Brisbane. Let's go to Brisbane. I'm not going to act like I know what all of these places are, but I recognise the name Brisbane. I know Canberra. I don't know Canberra, but I know of Canberra. See if there's anywhere that jumps out at me. So it's quite a large section of the map that you get for free. I mean, that's quite a large chunk of Australia. Australia is not small. But the map software does have the entire planet. So it's a really cool idea. I might have to buy the full version just because I really want to play in my hometown on it. And you know, where I'm living now, I'd really want to see how the software copes with those buildings in a really familiar setting. For me to see how accurate it is with the demo version, I'm going to have to use a bit of Google, try and check what the buildings are supposed to be look like, where they're supposed to be positioned and things like that. But I mean, it's still really cool. You, oh, they've actually got a link in the demo version for the, uh, the global access right there at the bottom. So you can actually download the demo version, see what you think of the demo version and then buy the DLC. That makes it a bit easier as well. All right, we're going to go down to Australia. Let's go Brisbane. Let's just go straight to Brisbane. Hmm. I'll right, just... That'll do. If you're from Australia and you watch this, you have to let me know how accurate this map is. I'm going to start on easy, because I want to see what the, the map's like more than I actually want to play the game just yet. Cool. Right. So, this is my little ship. I move around with WASD and I have weapons on a trigger on um, on the mouse. Like, I don't know... Uh, this is the only problem I've got is I don't know this area. So, without the full version, I don't know how accurate it is. You'll have to tell me. If someone's from Australia watching this and from Brisbane or knows what this part of Brisbane looks like, let me know, because, I mean, it's really cool, though. There's quite a bit of sloping to the ground and stuff in certain areas as well, so it seems like it's got a really good idea of the elevation and stuff. Okay, so it, I think it just gave me all the streets and stuff then as well. Like, all the streets and the building numbers, and yeah, there you go, it's all the street names. Okay, and so these are enemies, these little white things, and you can shoot them with the triggers. Oof. Oh, and then these little things come off them, and you have to shoot those as well. And you get little these little coins that drop. I don't know what you'd call them. Little particles. I call everything coins. Anything that drops I call coins. It's too much Mario. Cool. It's different coloured ones as well. I don't really know what the difference in the colour is. Oh, we got a lot of particles for the um, for the different coloured one. So I might have to look for more of those. I don't think they attack you unless you attack them first. Okay. Ready to deploy level one base find a familiar spot. Well, nowhere's really familiar to me, so I'm just going to I'm going to go somewhere that's a bit open because I don't I don't know what's going to happen really. All right, cool. 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 
So you drop these. Okay. Oh, right. They're like timed bombs. I got you. So, uh, like, I guess this was some sort of targeting thing. Like, it fires at it, but it doesn't actually fire at it. It, like, drops a timed explosive. So you have to kind of time when these enemies are coming towards. I guess this is some sort of base or something. You have to time these explosives with how close they are. So it blows them up. Or just spam it. You might be able to spam it. Yeah, you can. Let's just spam it. Oh, but you can't put it down on one that's already been uh, used until it disappears. So you have to be a bit careful. You can spam it, but not, not too bad. Otherwise you'll run out of space. Piss off, alien bitch. Wave three of three, okay. Hey! Area's been cleaned, continue exploring a world or choose another area. Let's continue exploring, because... Because why wouldn't you? Right. Yeah, I don't... Ooh! Can I go out the building? Ooh! Ooh! Let's do, I want to do that again. Let me go up! How did I do that? <laughs> How do I go up? I don't know how I did that. Oh, okay. So, is it determined by my speed? Nope. I'm going to keep... Ah, uh, really high. So, in theory, if I keep going round in circles, I'll keep bouncing higher and higher, and I'll be able to get on top of the buildings. Oh, oh no, right into my face. I don't know how I nearly got on top of that really tall one. That was weird. I want to get on top of one of the tall ones. I don't know what that achieves, if anything, but... I'm just going around in circles now. It seems to pre-render quite a lot of the the background and stuff as well. Okay, so these people's houses, like, IRL. Or should be. Oh, that's a little bit creepy. Oh, bad guys. One more bad guys. There we go. I want more of those ones. Alright, we get to build another base now. I right, are gonna go Actually here will do. This will this'll do. Where are they coming from? Ah, ah, ah. Get away. Get away from my base. So if I can sort of slow them down there, I can drop ones here that, and then like do a double layer of explosives so if the first one doesn't get them, the second one will. Okay, there's coming changing directions as well. Ooh, get away. It's mine. Got my proper concentration face on them. Come on. God, this takes ages. Make... Is that wave nearly over? Alright. Oh, four waves. There's another one. Go away. Get away. Get away from my face. I didn't realise I could go right up to them. That makes things so much easier. Oh, 
because I can just spam them from over here then. That's so much easier. Oh, I wish I'd known about that before. I was dumb. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's that's the whole game and it there's obviously progressive difficulty with the waves getting harder and stuff like that. I think the most important part of this game is the mapping software and I think that's what, what makes it quite cool. Without me having the full version and without me being able to select places I know, I'm a bit limited with what I can tell you about how accurate it is. But I mean I don't think they would bother to make the demo with some places that people would recognize if it wasn't pretty spot on. I don't think the game's expensive for the full version. I'll obviously put a link to it in the description as I said and I'll find out how much it is first and I'll put that somewhere in the video. There. That, that's how much it is. I want some people to give it a go and tell me how accurate it is. Because on its own, like me, me just picking a random place that I've never been to and trying to play the game and tell you how good this software is is a bit redundant. I probably should have bought the full version and then done it, but I really wanted to play it just to see the map. So yeah, I might give it a go in future and might try and get the full version and do it again with places that I know and then can go, hey look, this is this is pretty spot on, this is pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, it's still a fun demo. If I'm going to go carry on trying to save the rest of the world now, well not the rest of the world, just this part of Australia that I don't know. Ooh, that's big. Oh, I just went straight through it. Oh, that's... That's not good.